Hi, I'm Hannah Dockery, and I'm here to talk with you again about what is the kingdom. We're on day five of our devotional series, and today we're talking about God's promises are realized. When the kingdom comes, we see promises come to fruition, and we see things that we, we know the Lord wants to do in our life come to pass. The Bible teaches us that when his kingdom comes, he brings salvation, power, blessing, love. He brings peace. Now this word peace, when we think peace, we think, oh, it's just happy and everything's calm is what we think when we think peace. But the word peace in Hebrew is shalom. And that literally means his complete care and blessing over his people's lives. So the kingdom of God is the realm of shalom. When Jesus comes and rules, he gives his care and he blesses us. He can't be any other way because he is good. He's love. He's rich and he is generous. The kingdom of God is the doorway into life as it should be. It's the doorway into the promises and the blessings that he has for us, that he is literally just waiting for us to knock on the door so he can open it. You know, there's so many promises described in the scripture and there's so many things that if we would just dive into his word, we would see the promises he has waiting for us. This is the kingdom life. It's a life lived through the power of the promises of God. It's a life lived through the power of seeing these promises come to pass in our own life. So when we, when we see these promises start happening, the only, the only appropriate response to this unparalleled generosity, because we don't deserve the promises he has for us, that's his grace on our lives. But our response has to be faith. It's a life of radical, aggressive, possessing faith. It's a life like Jacob when he's wrestling with the angel and he says, I will not let you go until you bless me. That is when we know the kingdom has come to our life because we know what his word says of these promises. And so we begin to radically and aggressively by faith declare these things into our own life. Let's read 2 Peter 1.4. It says, As a result, he has given you magnificent promises that are beyond all price so that through the power of these tremendous promises, you can experience partnership with the divine nature by which you have escaped the corrupt desires of the world. When we start to see these promises, all of a sudden our desires begin to look like his and we begin to have that reordering. So where is God showing you in scripture these promises that you need to radically and aggressively go after in faith? Pray about them and, and go after them with everything you have. Make sure your notifications are on so that we can come back and experience these last two days together of what is the kingdom.